Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a fatal error in Wuthering Waves. It's pretty easy to fix, so try not to skip any steps. Okay, the first thing you want to do is launch it from the executable directly. A lot of people said that this has fixed it for them, so go to C. Uh, there should be a Weathering Waves uh, folder, Weathering Waves game, and launch it from here. Okay. Now, after that, try to update your graphics cards. Okay, that's very easy to do. Um, you should have the NVIDIA app installed. If you don't, well, install it. Go to Drivers and say uh, Update to Newest Drivers. The next thing you want to do is it disable uh, Control Flow Guard. So go to Windows Security. From here, go to App and Browser Control. Exploit Protection, uh, go to Exploit Protection Settings. And you want to disable uh, CFG, so turn this off by default. Um, and then uh, exit this and see if this fixes the issue. Okay, after you've done that, uh, go to C, uh, go to uh, Weathering Waves, again, go to Weathering Waves Game, and right click on this, uh, go to Properties. Uh, from here, uh, go to Compatibility tab, and click on uh, Disable Full Screen Optimizations. While you're here, uh, click on Run This Program as Administrator and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, the next step is uh, to go to the launcher and try to launch it in DirectX 11. How do you do that? Well, right here, just click on launch in DirectX 11 and start it. Um, you can also add it to Steam and uh, do the same thing, force it to work on DirectX 11, but this is easier to do with a launcher. Uh, the next step is to go to a program called Exit Lag, uh, which is quite useful. Um, this solves a lot of network related issues with games. And you just install it, go to the library, find Weathering Waves, click on it. Uh, click on the server, go to Optimize Roots. By the way, this is free for three days, but after that, it costs a little bit of money. It's about $5 per month on the annual plan. And hit apply roots and see if that fixes your problem. This also has the added benefit of uh, improving FPS and um, everything like that. And the last step is to uninstall it from whatever, uh, wherever you installed it from and reinstall it on a different launcher. Uh, for example, if you installed it on the Epic Games Store, uninstall it, and then download the launcher from their website, reinstall it, and re-log in with your information, and that should fix your problem. If this helped you, leave the video a like, and think about subscribing. If it didn't help you, leave the video a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you.